Hi guys, how is it going? My name is Lynn and this is the Darwin Orva channel. Uh, this is the last video in the built-in bookcase series that I'm doing in collaboration with Rockler. In this video I'm going to be uh, painting and finishing, uh, installing and adding all those finishing touches to make it complete. And I'm really excited to get it all finished, so let's get going. Okay, so you guys remember the counter, right? Last time I left off, I had just put on the first seal coat of polyurethane. Well, since then I've put on another four coats and I'm now putting on the last fifth coat of polyurethane, sanding in between. I use long strokes to minimize bubbles and I really take my time. The counter has a really nice gloss level and it's, it's just beautiful. So now this has to dry for a couple of days. Now let's move on to the base. And I'm using some drywall spackle to fill in the visible edges of the plywood and then sanding smooth once it's dried. Next, I'm painting the edges and I've put on some tape on the inside because I'm going to clear coat that part. So painting the bottom and the sides with flat paint and then removing the tape and I've got nice lines. Next, I'm clear coating everything on top of the painted areas as well as inside to give protection. And I really like using water-based polyurethane when you go over white paint because oil-based can add a yellow tone. Now we have the top shelf unit and I'm painting it white, spraying, which is a lot faster. Then sanding after the first coat. I'm using drywall spackle here again to fill in the pocket holes and that does a lot to finish off the piece. Now let's add some face frames. I'm just cutting up some simple framing lumber for this. And I want the face frame to just cover the plywood, just attach over, so I'm cutting the wood one inch wide and then to size. So simply gluing and nailing in the different pieces. Now when the face frame is complete, I first spackle in any holes from the nails, sand, of course, and then paint the whole unit again with an extra coat on the face frames. And then once that has dried, I spray polyurethane over the whole unit to add more protection. Okay, let's go back to the base. So remember the drawers, they need some drawer fronts. And for that, I have some nice half inch Baltic birch plywood cut up. So simply clamping the frames in place and screwing in from the back. Once they are all attached, I sand each one on the edges. And this is really nice plywood, so no spackle needed. Then I simply painted the drawer fronts and also added several coats of water-based polyurethane on top of that. So, time to put on the hardware. So I'm using simple antique brass knobs and they're really easy to attach. So simply finding the center, then drilling a hole, and then drilling a larger hole on the inside with a spade bit to countersink the screw, and then screwing in the knob. And then of course repeat eight more times. Okay, so now let's focus on the backing. I decided to go with hardboard, which I painted white as well. Of course, I could have gone with beadboard here, but I wanted a nice, smooth, simple surface. So I'm scoring the hardboard to size to just fit the frame and then nailing in from the back. I had them cut the hardboard up in the store since I couldn't move a whole full sheet in my car. So that's why I have to do a little piecing together at the top. But if you connect the pieces in the back of a shelf, you won't see anything in the front. So at this point the counter has fully dried and now I like to finish it off with some steel wool and soapy water. This is really just to take away any small imperfections and get it super smooth. I'm using 40 steel wool and working the counter and cleaning it up and repeating a couple of times and it really makes a difference. It makes the surface very nice and smooth. We are now ready to install. And to install the base to the wall, I'm using a couple of brackets, as well as screwing in the back piece directly. Then putting on the counter, and I'm simply screwing the counter to the base from underneath in the front. The top will sit on the counter in the back, so there's no need to screw it in in the back as well. And then it's time to put in all the drawers. I'm 
unscrewing the top to the wall using the nailing strips. So I know where the studs are and then I'm simply adding some screws at those points. Okay, one little detail left to do. To finish off the piece, I want to add a piece of molding at the top. So I'm using a bit on the router and adding a nice profile on a piece of wood and then painting that white as well. I also cut up a thin strip of wood to hide that little gap in between the counter and the backing. And that's generally a good tip. If you have a small gap or imperfection, simply add molding. <laughs> I started hammering it in, but quickly realized it was easier and faster to simply use the nail gun. Then I nailed in the molding at the top as well. And it looks good. Time for some caulk to hide the seams, and this does a great job again of hiding any gaps or imperfections. And simply doing a little touch up on the nail holes and any areas that got a little scuffed up in the installation process. And I'd say that looks pretty good. Let's see what it would look like with some things on it. So what do you guys think? I, I just love the way it came out. I just like really how bright it is, how much space there is, and then of course the way the counter came out, uh, which turned out just the way I had hoped, which isn't always the case, so that is really cool. And now when I have so much space to work with, I'm kind of thinking about maybe building some organizers for different things to put on the shelves, so that might be coming up soon. Um, otherwise, I know that a lot of people are curious how much does something like this cost? And of course that varies on various factors. However, I used uh, four sheets of plywood for this build, one of which was of a higher grade for the drawer fronts. Um, I also used a piece of hardboard for the backing and just uh, framing lumber to cut up for the face frames and the cheap pine for the molding on top. Um, other than that, uh, you know, hardware, drawer sliders and knobs, and then of course, uh, well, wood for the counter, uh, and then uh, paint and uh, finishing products. So I guess it's safe to say that uh, something like this costs about $500. Uh, of course, depending on uh, the size of your build, you know, the quality of the materials you use, and then of course where you live. Um, but certainly it's a lot cheaper to do this yourself than hire someone else to build this for your space. Uh, and I just love the concept of built-ins in that sense because it really makes the room feel bigger. You know, you utilize the, the height and you're really utilizing all the space and get so much storage, which is really cool. Um, if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe because I put out a project video each week. And if you're just joining us for the first time today, uh, there are also four previous videos in this series that go over this build. Uh, also, there will be links in the description to all the products that I used. Um, and yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey of building this. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.